In the span of few months, he created a value proposition, not only with the Marquee clients like Ola, Renault FedEx, and 30 others, but also been able to navigate a successful acquisition by Publicis Groups in April 2018, thus making history as the fastest equant iron in the Indian OOH industry. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Mr. Sujit Banerjee and uh, maybe welcome with a round of applause which should be really louder guys. <laughs> Let's have uh, Mr. Sudhi, Sujit Banerjee here and he'll be talking about uh, the value propositions as an instrument of transformation here with us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <coughs> it's actually difficult to speak somebody uh, after somebody as illustrious as uh, Rachna. Uh, so therefore, I would need some divine interventions. Uh, also, it's quite uh, humbling, you know that after you have worked almost 25 years of your life in out of home with greats like Sam Balsara, Haresh Nayak, Abhijit Sen Gupta as your bosses and established colleagues like Jayesh Yagnik, Rajneesh Behel, Krishnendu Ghosh, Vinku Chakrabarti, Monisha. Uh, so a lot of narratives that I am going to talk about today are uh, slides that are stolen stolen with pride but you because simply because you are always uh, they, they leave such strong influences on you uh, you have no no way to escape now having said that the, the, we were having this conversation the entire day about what is the the problems that we are facing roi is missing measurability is missing the challenges how do we step up the ante i think Somewhere, the solution lies here. Are we able to create a value proposition for ourselves, for the industry, and for the young boys and girls sitting out there? So, this presentation has a divine intervention. I am seeking God's blessing. I tend to stammer, so that for next 15 minutes, I am hoping that I do not stammer. I am able to have a very meaningful conversation. Does it go forward? Can somebody help me with this? Which one is forward? So, as I said, asking for divine intervention. God, let's have a good start. Let's have prosperity. Let's have common good for all. Let's have a common spirituality for everyone. But one, one pervert, one pervert changed the contours of this symbol itself. And what did he bring about? He brought about tyranny, he brought about mayhem, oppression, the greatest oppression one human being can do to the another and killed 6 million people in the course of a few years. What did he achieve? He wanted to transform the world, did he? Look at the other this thing, we all know closer to a heart, closer to in our living generation. A religion that was known to be in sync with what was of peace, they developed a phobia. They brought about a mistrust. So, what is the perceived, what is the common denominator defining this so called, this so called transformation? I think it is the evil intent. Bura kaam karoge, bura sochate, bura hi hoga. But does that mean that transformation is bad? Transformation is not bad. Transformation will happen, 
change will happen. As I said, cliched as it sound, transformation change is constant, is the only constant. So let's look at let's 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 look at some good stories. The good stories is about the one. I don't know how many can you identify this one with this is the French Revolution. Three dec three three centuries ago, people way back in France stood for three three ideologies. Yeah? Three principles of brotherhood, equality, liberty. The idea became an ideology. The ideology and what happened? It gave the American War of Independence, it gave us the democracies, it gave the foundation of democracy, it also gave the basic right for existence of self-belief of our own identity. Like, let us flip, do a little, come closer home. What did this man do? He created a product, he created which was beyond pricing. It was he created a value proposition which he could had the guts to cannibalize it by himself. Yeah. Today when you and change and in this course, in this in this entire conversation, what did he do? He changed the basic way how you and me communicate, right? Today, you you I mean everyone is willing to spend a, a, a lakh, or many of us are willing to spend a lakh of 50, 60,000 just for a phone, just for a phone. I mean, otherwise you can, but it is beyond price, it is a badge value for Christ's sake. Look at this man, I mean not what he did, the way he did it, but he had the gumption to take on the, the behemoths, the, the MNC behemoths of the world. And what did he do? And why was he successful? Because he created perceptive value for you and me. What is this perceptive value? The perceptive value that the value that what it brings to me and you. Also having said that, the question is, how do you create that perceptive value? Now, value we can only create, value is a mulya and I will come to it little later. Value is a mulya. Value is always has to be and this sound might sound little cliche, yeah? has to be backed by strong values, fundamental rudimental values of what, what grandfathers, fathers taught us and believed and which perhaps we teach our children of integrity, honesty and hard effort. Look at and just going back to work of Steve Jobs, he created a value, when you created a value, it is beyond price. When you create a value and that is exactly that's, that we are transaction, outer form is transactional in nature. We talk of why? Because we have not, the clients do not see a value in us. As, as a set of people, we have failed the people. Let us face it. Now, coming home, and that is why the organization I work for, do a circa back in 2015, September, we created Ecosys as a small standalone agency. Six people, nothing much to do in life wanted to have were bound together by a common vision that can we do a differential work. And the differential work as we thought it then and pardon me Sai for this one is that we wanted to create the only agency at that moment of time that gives you ROI in terms of measurability. How we did it, what we did that is not the that is not the part of the conversation. By having done so in a span of 30 months. We were the fastest growing startup. We had done six industry firsts. We won many awards. 
we have been the agency of the year in many forums and in 2018 April I get a call from my existing boss Anupriya wants to acquire us and by doing so and we join hands with them and in doing so what is the thing that we created the narrative that we created was that in the last four years we were the biggest out of home story that's face the facts that's in front of you why did it do that none of us i mean we are not in i mean i am not an industry stalwart nobody knows me even perhaps many of us you are seeing, seeing me for the first time none of us are this thing we were all bunch of you know underdogs but we created story the story is in the value and the value that you did was that what happened was and there was an amalgamation of common thoughts and value system so trust talent and transformation is currently that we imbibe in, in with publicis media and that we see seeing giving the biggest of agencies a run for their money the point that i try to make is that where were we successful i mean i guess i'd like to think we were and press report said that we were successful and i'm just being little humble on the other side is that why were we successful why did the acquisition happen because we managed to do two things as mr as my ex super boss sam would say sam balsara would say the meritocracy always wins so what we did we did few things correctly yeah what we did was we made them the talent as a leader so leadership was situational and and very very knowledge based so mangesh shinde who is a strategic planner became our trump card became our messi and we went with a whole hog and we knocked in each and every door of the clients and we picked up businesses people wrote us off but we had a singularly i mean there's i don't know how many of you know of swaminathan iyer swaminathan iyer the economist writes in economic times has a very unique theory the theory is of the mumbai local it's crowded for 10 but there's always room for one perhaps we decided that we will be that one to climb the local and somehow survive and we survived and we reasonably did well but in the in the course of the journey what's the kind of mantra that we took was that the thing that we will challenge the status quo the chalta hai attitude outdoor mein aisa hi hota hai na agar hota hai abhi nahi hoga we will do completely the opposite and by doing so we created value for ourselves and the client ashish is one of them and the acquisition happened i mean want to is that look at the current thing that how it's happening in the national level in 2014 in 2014 how do i go back sir in in 2014 when elections were happening the then opposition party came with a political maxim this is a age old political maxim called in fabian socialism called greatest good of greatest number the greatest good of greatest number was interpreted in those great offering sabka saath sabka vikas as a thought look at that look at the magnitude of the thought as a thought it was so huge and what was the what was the result the result was 
we all went like a pipe pipe of Hamlin. The, the power of creating the value proposition is immense. What it does to you, it makes you very strange bedfellows. It fixes queer relationships. The living embodiment of that, even three years back, could we have ever imagined Pranab Babu going to an RSS Shaka and addressing it? Why the ballet proposition is there? Couple of people, I mean, couple of thoughts that I will is always think. Why does a Vinku, wherever Vinku goes, HUL follows? Wherever Imtiaz goes, L'Oreal follows. Why? But you have because the power of that relationship. And that is the beauty of it. Now, having said that, I will leave you with, and especially not for, I mean, if it is get, getting too pakawing and you know too much of gyan, I will leave you with some thoughts in terms of my, these are my thoughts, as I said, of the boy, young boys and girls full of dreams out, out to the back. That how will you, I am not here to consult for, for Christ's sake, I am not here to consult what is the value proposition you will doing. You know, a friend of mine. An ex friend of mine is trying to create an out of specialist airport out of home agency. The idea is brilliant. I said, if you have the conviction, if you have the conviction, go and do it. Because if you have faith, the faith will lead into a belief. Sorry, the belief, if you have the belief, the belief will lead into faith, and the faith can move mountains. And that mountain is creating the transformation. Yeah? Now, having said that, how the, the question is challenge is how do I how do I create that value? How do I create that value proposition? The answer lies perhaps in what I call as a Devas model. And I said this is assimilation of the learnings from various sources here. Yeah? Devas, if the if the if the challenge is like the Asuras. How will you conquer them? You will conquer them with the devas. Only God can conquer them, right? So, D is for depth. The point is, all our plans, all that we do, does not have depth. We are doing a copy paste job. One plant plan fits all kind of solution. I mean, we do not understand the client. Perhaps the young boys and girls right at the back, if you understand, if you put your head together and all the experts were saying, you know, understand the TG, understand where the, where the data is coming from. If you analyze that, you will automatically become an expert. And today, the clients are willing to pay for expertise, okay? because it is our, across all agencies, all plans look the same, because, and that is why the, the rate game is. A time will come, the moment you have each agency develops the depth, you will have pitches being won on value proposition, not on rates. Rate is much, which come much later. The second is ethics, somewhere down the line. Dil Plan pe sincerely kaam kiya ki nahi, rate diya ki nahi. Where you have been absolutely honest in terms of efforts, in terms of what you are offering to the client and so on. The, the next the V is for vision, what I call as a dream. Dream big, dream of an idea, follow that dream and you will achieve it. And perhaps we were have that Martin Luther moment here. Yeah? I have a dream, say it loud to yourself. Now, having said that, what, what dream does to you, if you are convinced, it leads you into an audacious action, you will be propelled by it, you will be a self propelling resource to follow the dream. And 
perhaps we will be able to the young boys and girls out there that somebody is somebody trying to sell and there was a little comment about the uh, about the cup i think it's a brilliant idea he followed it in the single largest i mean with the single minded devotion of following that dream the next is a the next a is for articulation hamara plan hum kab ke bechte we don't tell out of home out presentations are to the clients ask, ask the clients it is all about number it there's no story what's in it for him tell a story tell a narrative excel bahut baad mein aati hai par ab aayegi bhi nahi if you are able to articulate well it's beyond price and the last is in synchronization synchronization with, with the environment with yourself what the client needs are understanding the customer now if you do the all this as i said value is equal to dhan so as i say when we pray to lord durga dhanan dehi rupam dehi yasho dehi and i translate it for you and disho jahi which says give me wealth god will give you wealth you will get great great feeling for yourself you will get brand resilience for yourself and your company and for yourself name for the company and while doing this you will be a nemesis to your competition thank you jai hind thank you thank you so much uh, mr sujith banerji here and uh, you threw light on value proposition and talked about values and of course ethics vision action articulation and synchronization i think he needs uh, a round of applause a bigger round of applause <laughs> all right so now let me share sir if you can please join me on the stage yes mr sujith yeah you know uh, when he was talking about values i could recall and remind uh, the you know few lines and uh, i would just read out from here that you know luck is like dots and our efforts are like lines that you draw to join those dots so it's all in your hands to create the picture of your own life and i think that and i also hope that we all are going to draw our best from today onwards and whatever we are going to do in excel so i would like to once again thank mr sujit here please sir if you can join uh, in the center of the stage and uh, i would like to call upon mr pramod patel associate vp media kotak mahindra bank to kindly felicitate sir with a memento please ladies and gentlemen put your hands together i think we are definitely going to remember the values and like he said rightfully that we have to go back to our roots and what our fathers and forefathers have taught us really that actually helps us in whatever we do and everyone sitting across i think there are students uh, in the room so please follow that and we should not you know rush on uh, um, being competitive with each other always i think that's what we need to learn by this session and also how to lead the market with value proposition